It's National, Brand, it's National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I talk with Dr. Stacy Stevenson about ways to support innovative cancer research and different steps patients, caregivers, and anyone can take to improve their well-being. Good morning, doctor. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, Brad. I'm fabulous. Sounds like you are, too. Yes, I am. Uh, this is a very important, but a very... Um, I'm gonna say positive topic to have right now, especially with it being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and that yeah. is the function of medicine uh, that can help and support breast cancer patients. And, and how important is that? Well, it's critical because remember, we must treat the entire human being. We have a tendency in, in Western medicine, I think in the pharmaceutical driven, surgery driven, radiation driven therapies, which are critical to forget a little bit about good medicine and combining everything that we have in integrative therapies and healthcare, such as diet, nutrition, uh, mind, body, spiritual medicine, fitness and exercise. Uh, combining these therapies with your traditional therapies is critical. Functional medicine has been doing this for all forms of, of illness and health and wellness and lifestyle medicine for many decades, but we're really shining a light today a little bit more on the role of functional medicine as it integrates into breast cancer therapies. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the research that's being done today and again, how you're a big advocate of this. Well, at Gateway for Cancer Research, I participate to aid with the clinical trials to improve and utilize uh, or create therapies really for quality of life, for enhancing therapies, for example, our vitamin C trials, which we pre-dose vitamin C, large doses of C intravenously before a therapy, which enhances the person's response to the chemotherapy and also helps them get through the negative side effects. So a big goal with all therapeutics in cancer care for breast cancer and all others is to make sure that we <laughs> make the experience as easy as we can and that we don't make the treatment worse than the disease itself. We want to combine the best of all worlds and we really call that integrative and functional medicine. To me, it's just good medicine. We fund both at the Gateway for Cancer Research. Yeah, and that's very important. I love it. I'm going to switch gears here a little bit because I want you to tell us about your new book, uh, GLOW, 90 Days uh, to Create Your Vibrant Life from Within. And I have a copy here uh, with me, which is, is amazing. So tell me a little bit about this and what was your inspiration for it? Well, I was my own inspiration because I needed a way to, to manage my emotional, psychological, wellness life as well. And I've been I've been working on these things uh, for a very long time and wanted to translate the information regarding self-care and give people a way to provide uh, a system, a routine of meditations, mantras, affirmations that you can approach in bite-sized little morsels and bundles in the morning and the evening over a 90-day process so that things aren't so formidable to improve your mental, emotional, and psychological world. Just giving us that extra boost. And we know that improving uh, or actually creating meditation, meditative processes in your life will boost your immune system. Boosting your immune system will help you not only fight and prevent cancer, it will also help you move through cancer therapies uh, more successfully than you ever expected. So that was my inspiration for GLOW. I love this, doctor. And, and what I love is that you made it 90 days because sometimes they say, you know, <laughs> 30 days, uh, is a good time, but making it 90 days actually gets them more connected, keeps them on a great path, uh, which is Correct. so amazing. So it's great. You, okay. You definitely need a little more than 90. And I hope all your viewers can turn out also to our big event in your Phoenix area called Bina Constella in one week, where we will raise funds going towards all forms of cancer care therapies, both integrative and traditional. So Come and help us out in Phoenix I at like the Biltmore. It. Where can people find information about, of course, what we talked about and about the event coming up? Uh, gatewaycr.org, O-R-G, and also drstacystevenson.com. Either way, you will find us. I love it, doctor. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Bye-bye.